A storm was hatching and the sky darkened. Cyclists and mothers with plastic-covered strollers hurried by the window. There was a crack of thunder. Manuel turned on the overhead headlights, which pulsed a discontinuous and irregular tempo. Outside, the rain became lavish. Inside, the gymnast twirled soundlessly across the screen. At the end of each routine, Andre watched the girls huddle with their coaches as the scores appeared on the board. He read their bodies. Ecstatic high fives and hugs, or arms flopped at their sides in disappointment. Tears of triumph or defeat. Girls whose entire equilibrium depended on only one thing, winning. He held his breath for them. He thought of asking Manuel to turn up the volume, but realized that it didn't matter. Their movements were synchronized to the sound of the cappuccino machine. Hums and groans and sudden blasts of air, the loud the thing of milk being frothed. Your country? Manuel pointing at the Romanian leotards. Andre spinning slowly on the vinyl stool. Manuel turned off the cappuccino machine, a gesture of respect. He reached up to the television set and jacked up the volume. Manuel walked around to the other side of the bar, a ginger ale in hand. He sat down beside Andre, and together they watched one of the most dramatic duels in modern Olympic history. Kati Zavo going head to head with a pixie-ish Mary Lou Retton for the all-around title. Andre wasn't a heavy smoker, but that afternoon he lit up one cigarette after another. Manuel let out a small gasp when Zavo missed a relatively simple turn on the high bar and tumbled to the floor. Looking genuinely tense, he went around to the fridge and brought back two bottles of beer. He popped the caps, slid one bottle over to Andre. The final vault portion of the competition lasted a nail-biting 30 seconds. All the men in the Milky Rose had risen from their seat and were now sitting along the edge of the Formica bar, eyes fixed to the screen. Mary Luton was still trailing by five one hundredths of a point. She needed another ten in the vault to win. The stadium fell quiet. Retton stepped to the mat, eyes centered on the pommel horse, and began her run. She smacked the horse with both hands, twirling over it and sticking her landing, feet hitting the floor and staying there. She knew right away and stretched her arms in victory. Andre grimaced in disappointment, slapping the counter with his hand, surprised that it mattered, surprised at the final connection to Romania he felt at that moment. Then came a sequence of hands on his shoulder, three gentle pats, a light knock, hands of condolence. Thank you.